How's it going guys? Selene HD here today. We're going to be doing a video about how to increase the lifespan of your SSD, um, increase the performance, um, kind of turning things off you don't need. Um, and we're going to be going over how to do that, why to do that. Um, so let's start out with over provisioning. Um, most of you with SSDs have probably heard of this. Um, just a real brief um, overview of what over provisioning is. It's kind of like distributing the total number of writes and reads. Uh, I'm sorry, it's erases across the uh, larger population of NAND flash blocks and pages over time. So with over provisioning, it gives the flash controller additional uh, buffer space for managing the program erase cycles, which that'll improve the performance. Um, and it also um, improves the chances a write operation has an empty uh, erase block, um, pre-erase block, excuse me. So with over provisioning, depending on which SSD you have, um, <clears throat> you'll have certain options. So as you can see, I've got a lot of things open. Let's take a look at this first. As you can see, um, I've got over provisioning right here. Um, and each software, I'm sorry, each company, Samsung, um, you know, uh, Intel, whichever SSD provider you have, they're gonna have their recommended um, amounts you should set for over provisioning. I have 10% set, as you can see, so I've got 46 gigabytes set for over provisioning. And I was able to do that um, slightly with this tool. I did have to go into disk management um, and set a partition for it, which isn't that difficult to do. Um, that's, that's one way to do it. Um, but there are programs out there that will allow it, uh, will do it for you. Um, I highly, highly recommend doing this. Um, to me, it's a must for the lifespan and performance as it says here it'll optimize performance and lifespan of your ssd so another thing we are going to do to help increase the lifespan of our ssd is something called uh trim now you can again use your software that comes with your ssd in some cases to enable trim um but there's other ways to do it um, and I'm going to go over the other way to do it in case someone doesn't have it. So as you can see here, if you type in fsutil behavior query, disable, delete, notify, and hit enter, if you get zero back, that means it's enabled. Now let's say you don't get the behavior back. Uh, I'm sorry, the zero back. The way you would um, enable it would be you would type the same thing in, behavior, but here you would say set to zero. And then you would hit enter and that would set it to zero. So then you'd have trim enabled, which is another vital uh, part of lifespan and um, uh, performance for your SSD. Um, now let's talk about a quick note. Um, you always want to buy the highest capacity uh, SSD you can um, afford. Um, you know, if you want to spend that extra 50 bucks to get that extra 100 gigs, it is worth it. Um, SSDs fill up quickly. Um, <clears throat> now, what I did to fix that problem is I have my PC set up to where I have, as you can see, here's my SSD. I have my SSD set up to host my operating systems and my games. And then I have storage to host all the other applications, things like... Um, you know, my YouTube videos, for example, things that don't need to be on the SSD taking up space. Um, and, and you will be very surprised how quickly space um, can get taken up. So let's talk about uh, disabling paging. Paging is something that can really take up take up space for one for one um, and it also it's it's a lot of writing and deleting to your SSD which is not good that's what's going to shorten the lifespan of your SSD so what you're going to want to do is go to my computer and hit property right click hit properties and you're going to go to uh, the advanced settings tab so once we're here again we're going to go to advanced settings hit settings and we're going to go to advanced now, 
right here you see virtual memory of paging file is an area where on the hard disk that Windows users as if it were RAM. Windows uses as if it were RAM. So what you do to change that is as you can see on my SSD I have it not set up. To do that you'll just hit no paging file set and OK. Now if you have an extra hard drive installed in your computer like I do what you can do is you can add the paging to the hard drive. And to do that you just hit system manage paging set OK and you can also set a custom size. I don't recommend doing that. I would just say set it to the system manager size. So now my paging is being done on my hard disk, which I don't really, I'm not too worried about a lot of writing and, and erasing being done. Um, I'm more worried about my more expensive and my more important SSD drive. So with just those few little things there, you're going to increase the the performance for one and more importantly the lifespan of your SSD um, and with the price of SSDs being kind of expensive nowadays you really want to have these things enabled so the one last thing we're going to talk about is um, optimization on a SSD so SSDs do not need optimization it's like on a hard disk you have defragging and things like that you do not want that on your SSD. You don't. Um, so you want to make sure that this is turned off. To do that, um, right click on your SSD, go to check. I'm sorry, don't go to check. Go to optimize. And as you can see here, on my solid state drive, I have never run. Um, I always leave it off. You know, do not want, you do not want defragmenting or optimization done on your SSD. There's no use for it and it's actually bad for that, for it. So that's another thing you need to check to change that obviously. All you would have to do is click it and turn it on, turn it off. So here we'll say turn off if you need to do that. So with those things being done, you have set yourself up to have your SSD drive be in its have its best chance to survive the longest um, and and also better performance. Now you're also going to have your op whichever you know SSD you buy you're going to ha probably have some software with it and you have this um, op OS optimization. So here you're going to want to kind of take a look at different things. Uh, virtual memory we already took care of that. Um, but you're going to want to be careful because as you can see I have mine as advanced. You can set it up to maximum performance. Obviously if you do maximum performance that's going to cut down on your lifespan. Uh, maximum capacity, maximum liability, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So set it to how, how you feel is best for you. Me, I want a, a good balance of performance and reliability. Um, you know I mean I don't want my SSD crashing and, or burning in, in one year. I want it to last and, and as you guys saw I've, my SSD is a little bit more filled a lot more bit more filled than I want it to be. Um, once you hit that 50% mark of storage on your SSD you start to lose a little bit of performance. So you, you want to try to keep your SSD storage right below that 50% mark if you can. Um, and to do that it does take some time you know you're gonna have to go through certain stuff and see what you don't need, erase the stuff you don't need and transfer it over to the hard drive if you have uh, the option to do that. And I would say to you guys who only have SSDs, just go buy a cheap hard drive. I mean you can get a uh, one tetrabyte Western Digital for I think 50 bucks. Go ahead and invest in that, put the operating system on the SSD and put all the stuff you don't need on the hard drive. Put keep your games on the SSD, things you need to work fast on the SSD, everything else throw it on the hard drive. That'll really help free up some space. So yeah, other than that guys, I think that that's it for today for what we'll cover. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, leave them right in the comments, we'll go over them. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Take care guys.